Cheese the Journey is back. We're back. So I am going to open this set of knives for this video. Um, and this, okay, I'll explain it to you. This one is called a bell-shaped knife, which confuses me because not bell-shaped at all. That but, one. Oh. Mm. This one is called a spatula. That makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> spatula. It looks like a spatula. Knife for soft cheeses. We're going to be using that today. Heart-shaped knife. That doesn't uh, look like <laughs> confusing. And cheese fork. That makes sense. So two of them don't make sense. But the others do. Okay. So I'm going to open it. You want to explain these cheeses while I focus? <laughs> Um, today we're trying some cheeses from Montreal, and don't tell, but they're raw cheeses, and Erica smuggled them through security. I did, I didn't even, I didn't even declare them. Um, I don't know, there's one soft cheese and one hard cheese. Uh, I don't know, what was the market called that where you got them? It's, it was called, uh, Jean Talon, um, and there's a, um, it's a market that, they have, it happens every day, and they show, sell, like, basically everything in the grocery store sells, but better. And at the end, at the back of the market, there's a, che a fromagerie called, oh, man, Key Le Clou. What does that mean? I don't know. Something about milk. And who? Is that really the whole thing? Yeah. Fromagerie. Oh, fromagerie. <laughs> Um, so that's where these cheeses are from. So this first one is, um, called Le Zephyr. Uh, and I, all I know is that, I eat some of it, but all I know is that it's, uh, it's raw and pasteurized milk, cow milk. Um, and. Do you know how old it is? I, I don't know. I know how old this one is, but this one I don't know much about. I should have asked more questions, but I didn't. And, Were you um, speaking French then? Well, no, because I started off and then it was clear that my vocabulary didn't really extend to cheese. To cheese. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I chose the spatula. You think it's a good thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Should we explain this other cheese first? Or try no, it? let's go with this one first. You want so, that What? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, it smells kind of like... <laughs> it has holes in it. Mm -hmm. But I learned how those holes are the smallest holes, and the the what the really small holes like that you call them like eyes of the dove or oh. eyes of the something, but not in English. <laughs> um, but I forget what they're called. Yeah, it French. doesn't smell that strong. No, oh, I also forgot to take that one out of the refrigerator. Too. Oh, so sorry. Uh, Sorry. Hmm. My bad. I don't have very many crackers. Only four. How do you use this knife? I think I got it. <laughs> um, it's pretty hard. It kind of tastes like a parmesan. Like it looks like it will be toothsome. It's not. Oh. It's not, no, it's not. It's not untoothsome? Toothless? I don't think I want a cracker with it. Oh. I don't either. Hmm. It tastes like Parmesan. The texture's different. Mm -hmm. It's smoother and thinner. Mm -hmm. What does taste like Parmesan? It has that sort of, um, like, barny taste. Like milk. Yeah. It's a little bitter. Lactic. Lactic. It's a little bitter. Mm hmm That's good. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be good in a sandwich. I guess that's kind of an good. insult. <laughs> no. I really like it. No, I don't think I'd use that. That's good. Do you think you can taste the rawness? No. I think I've had this cheese before. It tastes like maybe like what I've tasted before. I ate the rind. <laughs> <laughs> the rind's kind of good, actually. Mm -hmm. It's sweeter. Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting. Not that special. No. I would say. Good. I do like the little holes, the eyes of doves. It's not dove. It's just something else. <laughs> I just said dove. I but it's eyes of something. Yes, it's clearly what it is. Okay. 